nice to stay alive But if I'm with you, I'll survive Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Amanda and I'm so glad you're here. If you guys watched a couple videos back, I redid my mom and dad's bathroom and I made that space look so much better. It was so dated and so run down. So we jumped in there and gave that bathroom a facelift and it looks so much better. But my dad was saying that he wanted the kitchen done. The walls were green. He doesn't like the green color, so he was wanting all of that redone. And after I painted their cabinet and their bathroom, they were talking about painting the cabinets in the kitchen. So that's what they decided to do. You see some samples there on the wall already. We just had played around with some colors and cabinet colors and different things so they could pick and see what they wanted on their cabinets. So that's why that's there. It wasn't there originally, but they bought this double wide in 97. So it's got some age on it. And when they first bought it, the countertops were a dark purple. It had carpet in it and the carpet was a dark purple. So it was just time for some updates. Of course, when they first bought it back years ago, it was pretty and it was in style, but you know, everything just goes out of style so quickly seems like and things change and time gets away from you. And then one day you just kind of look around and you think my house is dated. So I'm gonna give you guys some tips and tricks and just some things we did to freshen up this space for not a whole lot of money. So stay tuned because this kitchen looks so good when it's done. Looks so much more modern and this whole thing cost us $142. Falling out, we have reached disaster Don't know where we're gonna be after And we do it all again and again and again and again Again and again and again and again We're falling, falling down, we faded But I know, I know that we can save it Cause we're like Alpha and Omega Whatever happens doesn't matter I know we can sort it out Alpha and Omega Even if we go a lot of breakers down I know we are Alpha and Omega Whatever happens doesn't matter I know we can sort it out Alpha and Omega Alpha and Omega Like the waves pull you down underwater We're fun until we hit the bottom One of the first things we done was clean these cabinets. On top, there was so much dust. She has canisters and all kinds of decor sitting on top of her kitchen cabinets. And after I took it down and I painted, I said, mom, it just looks so much bigger, so much cleaner and neater just with nothing up there. So I really hope she doesn't put anything back up there, but knowing my mom, she probably will. I know you guys are probably seeing some dust on this ceiling fan and I am too. And as I'm watching this back, it's got the oak blades. So I'm thinking I'm either going to paint that white or paint that black. 
the blades. So let me know what you think, which one would look better, but I do need to dust that because it was terrible and I need to get that painted. But the first thing I done was clean these cabinets. They had just food and spills, things like that, that just splashed up on it. So I wanted to get those good and clean and those top cabinets were dusty, especially above the stove. It was oily and everything was stuck to it. So after we gave these cabinets a good clean, we were ready to paint. I didn't use liquid sandpaper on these cabinets because they just felt like they had a rough texture. Not real rough, but enough that I knew that paint was going to stick to it. So we tried to put paint on it and it did fine. So we didn't go through the liquid sandpaper process. But if you have oak cabinets and you're wanting to paint them and you don't want to sand them down to rough them up, use liquid sandpaper. It is game changer, lifesaver, saves so much time, such a mess from sanding. So you just put that on. A paper towel or some kind of rag and you wipe that on your cabinets and it dries really quickly and then you're ready to paint it just gives it a little bit of a texture and it helps that paint stick to it so I wanted to go ahead and paint the walls before I got started on the cabinets I was trying to go top to bottom because I didn't want to paint something on the bottom and then drip something on it but honestly we just all jumped in there and did a little bit of everything and we were all over the place we had stuff sitting everywhere because there was stuff like in cabinets or different places on the counter, on the table, whatever. And I was just shoving things everywhere. So you're going to see that these countertops are so piled up. And by the time we get ready to paint the countertops, we shove all this mess somewhere else. So I left my mom with quite a mess. I'm sure she has spent all day today putting things back, going through things, decluttering and all that. She has had knee surgery and a heart attack. You guys know that, but she's doing so much better. She's able to get up and get to moving now. So she's in the mood to declutter and I'm really pushing that on her because she is a pack rat and I think that's where I get it. So we're trying to change our ways. We're trying to do better. This is my parents' house, and my dad can't see his macular degeneration, and then my mom's been down with knee surgery and a heart attack, so I don't want any rude comments on this. If you have something to say to me, that's fine. Say it to me all day long, but they need help, and I'm here to help them, and you know, you're not the one jumping in doing it, so I really don't want anything said about something sitting around or too much clutter or this or that. I love the paint color that we chose for the walls and it's actually the same paint as our bathroom. We had extra paint left over from our guest bathroom. When we bought this house, they left all of the paint colors that they used. So I brought tons of paint out here and I was like, look, we have all this paint and if you pick a color and you like it and the paint's still good, we'll just use that. We'll use it up and then it's going to save you money too. It'll use the paint. You know, it's not doing any good sitting in my garage. So that's what we did. The paint that's going on the walls is the same color as my guest bathroom. You know that 
this party won't stop We could never run out of time Sipping strawberry lime You know I wanna share it with you Bass is going boom, boom If you're looking for some classic I'll tell you everybody's standing in a line For the water slide project probably took us four days maybe even five but I'm thinking we were out here four days my parents are on a fixed income and we're not wealthy you guys know me you know my story we didn't come from money my parents worked their tail off to give me what they did and they're raising Kaylin my 15 year old little sister so they are not made of money for sure so we wanted to do this project as budget friendly as possible so using things that were left over from my projects in my house saved them a lot of money you guys seen that i used the shiplap in their bathroom and that saved them so much money i used my white cabinet paint same here so the white cabinet paint that we used here and on the trim is the same i used in my house so that saved them some money too when we did the white cabinets we talked about buying new hardware for them like handles and hinges but by the time we priced them and added it all up it was going to be well over a hundred dollars so i was like why don't we just take them off and spray paint them so that's what we did my aunt picked us up some spray paint from lowe's and we used a flat black spray paint and i'll show you that in a few minutes but we took all of the hinges and all of the handles off and spray painted those. I wasn't really paying attention to the hinges until Alden stopped out here and he was like, are you gonna paint those hinges too, right? And I was like, uh, yeah, because by the time I put the handles back on, they were sticking out like a sore thumb. So that helped so much. I think that changed the looks of this whole project the hardware that's one of my favorite parts she had to buy the polyurethane because we have never used that before the black countertop paint is actually the black cabinet paint color that i used we used that in her bathroom and then heather ran to sherwin williams and got some black countertop paint the same color that we used on our cabinets in our house but in countertop paint so we put countertop paint two coats of that on the counters and then we put three coats of polyurethane on that i've never used polyurethane so i was like i don't know how it's gonna dry i don't know if it's gonna mess it up or whatever but it made those countertops pop you can tell it just protects it it's a hard clear coat on it i was so impressed with that so if you're going to paint your countertops i would definitely suggest investing in that and using that to protect your countertops but the countertops in this kitchen were purple and we did have contact paper on it we just put that contact paper on there just to freshen up the look she was tired of the purple it was not in style and we used that for years we were actually worried that it wouldn't stick and don't ever worry about it not sticking because we had such a hard time peeling this up i looked at her so many times and i was like and we worried about this not sticking so anyway i really didn't know you could paint countertops until i've been watching some youtube videos and i've seen other people do it so that's what we decided to do she did it in her bathroom and loved it so she is loving how this looks and i would have never in a million years dreamed that my mom would have let me paint her countertops black that's just so out of her comfort zone so so proud of her there but you'll see a bunch of flowers and supplies in the background i've told you guys before but i know some of you are new my mom and grandparents used to have a florist and they closed that down when they closed that down there are still 
some people that my mom does flowers for still. So that's why it looks like a graveyard up in here. But I just wanted to let you guys know that our new wild of flowers and things like that were sitting around. But I wanted to make this kitchen look so good on a budget. I knew they didn't have a lot of money to put in it, but that doesn't matter. If you don't have a lot of money, it does not matter. It doesn't take as much money as you think to freshen up a space. I've said so many times that just a coat of paint on the walls helps so much. It makes the space look so much different. And when I painted that gray over the green, it just made such a difference in that kitchen. Even if we had kept these cabinets oak, it would have still looked so much better. I don't know if it was just because it was different to us or what, but she also has tile backsplash and it had grapes on it on just every few tiles there was grapes on it and she was over that as well. So I thought about painting that and putting the polyurethane over that, but we ended up with some peel and stick flooring that we just cut and used as backsplash. So you'll see that in a few minutes too. I We put flooring down in her kitchen and dining room probably three or four years ago, and it's actually peel and stick as well. And there were a couple of pieces that I did put the liquid nail, just a dab of that under the corners to get that to stick good and secure. But she's mopped it. She's had spills. We've been in and out of this house. There's always people here, kids here running around, and we've never had one piece come up. We've never had one piece that we've had to replace. So if you're thinking about peel and stick flooring, for us, it's worked out so good. We've bought that from Home Depot, and I think the brand is Traffic Master, but that's the same thing she put 
on her backsplash. It's just flooring, peel and stick. And I did secure that on the corners just with some kind of a glue, kind of like liquid nail that I just put on the corners. When we peeled this contact paper up, there were just a couple of spots that were a little bit sticky from it. So we used the Blue Wolf Cleaner my go-to now that will take your breath away but it does such a good job so we clean the counters with that good and then they were ready to paint so painted the walls painted the cabinets painted the hardware painted the counters and that was all we did i of course painted the trim and things like that i'm not done with this space yet i've still got to trim out her window and her kitchen white and she has white blinds to put up they're in now she said they came in today so i need to get those and put those up and there's a couple of pieces of trim that i need to finish too but i'm fixing to go to my aunt and help her redo her house she's putting all new things in her house so i'm going to help her do that but i think it's so much fun to redo what you have like i said you know not everybody has the money to go buy new things my parents didn't have the money to go buy new cabinets and new countertops and all that stuff so if you're like that too and you don't have the money to go buy brand new things that's okay you can put a little bit of elbow grease into a project and a little bit of money and it goes such a long way makes such a big difference this door was so stained up i had sprayed it and cleaned it before it would not come off i guess the paint was faded it was just rough this door had just seen its better days so they didn't have the money to go replace a door so i said let's paint it let's put a couple coats of paint on this door and it's going to look brand new and it does it looks so much better you would not know that it's the same door you would think the door was replaced so like i said this paint costed them nothing because i already had it and then it saved their door as well so that probably saved a good 100 200 just by not having to replace a door to make this kitchen look so much more fresh and clean them stand stronger than them let them think we are crazy cause i know we are real as can be you still amaze me now that we come so far they're going nuts about how happy we are see the bond that we made it all seems real now that i'm not afraid and we really got them yeah we sure did ride it out cause we have each other that's what it's all about i was no good they said you could do much better but you gave them Yeah, yeah. I know her leave you. You just sit there crying, Mama. How dare you leave that cat? Is her holler and her is a mama. Yeah, cause Here. you got to hang. Here, you're itty bitty. I think you're the rat and she didn't want you. Can we put you on the counter so you can make paw prints? Look here. I'm still alive and kicking. Yeah, you are. Two jobs, paint and baby cat. You have the time of your life every single night. The confetti's raining down. You put your hands to the sky, center of the crowd. You're the talk of the town. And I tell myself I don't want that. What glitters sink gold? we spray painted the handles to save us about a hundred dollars it's going to be about a hundred dollars to put new handles on all of these cabinets so what we're doing is we're taking these gold handles and the gold hinges off and we're spray painting them tis why i have black hands but there's the first couple of hinges and then we spray painted the screw heads and we just stuck those could you be a little quieter up there? But we stuck these screws down into this box so we could just spray the head of them. And we had this 40 year old nasty tub lid on mom's back porch. So we're gonna use that to spray these handles. But I think that'll really make that pop with 
the hinges being black and the handles on that white. Did you do your bathroom, the polyurethane? Yeah, I didn't do the bathroom. We've got the polyurethane. Am I saying that right? Polyurethane. That looks like a bubble if you want to pop it. But we've got that on that. Second coat on this, and that is really making that pop, ain't it? This is just countertop paint, and then we put, we're going to put three, at least three coats of polyurethane on top of that. But that is so pretty as it's drying. But her kitchen's going to look so much better. Then we're going to declutter it. We're going to clean it, right? Sure we are. And we're going to keep it that way. We painted this tile, and I don't know if we're going to paint that or put a peel and stick, or like, I don't know, some kind of peel and stick backsplash there. So we painted this door, which looks a million times better. And we painted this. This probably needs a second coat, but we'll do that in a little bit. That looks much better. I showed you guys that, so you know how much better that looks. But that is looking so good. That It really makes your kitchen look so much better. Here are these adorable kittens. This gray one is Daisy May. It's what Allison named her. And then the black one is Kobe. K-O-B-E. But here's the spray paint that I used for the door handles and the door hinges. After I sprayed those, I took them inside to dry just because it was hot and rainy on this day. And they were just sticky. So when we brought them in to dry, they dried so much better. She did put a coat of polyurethane on her bathroom counters. We had painted those, but we hadn't sealed those. So that's what that was. And then this little box built onto the side of their cabinet is actually their air return. And you can see it was spray painted kind of a bronzy color and the cabinet was oak. We painted the side of this cabinet gray to match the kitchen cabinets. And then we painted this side of the cabinet white to match the things in her living room. The little vented cover, we took that off took that outside, spray painted that white, and put that back up. And that looked so much better because that looked terrible. It was just time. You know, you do things and then you turn around, it's already war. You know, it doesn't take long to put some wear and tear on a house. And it gets frustrating sometimes just to see your house go downhill and things did be outdated and all that. But we got that spray painted. We got that put back up and it made such a difference you guys probably wouldn't have noticed it, but us being in and out of this house all the time, it stuck out like a sore thumb. So that looked just so much better. off to paint those black to match the cabinets and I think that's where I ended last time so we've got everything painted well we need to put a second coat and I need to finish this door frame out I'm doing this laundry room next that is my next big project my mom's making some sloppy joes what's the difference in a sloppy joe and a man which are you liking it dad mm. are you liking it liking what the kitchen well yeah yeah, that's, that's about the way I had it pictured. I gotta finish trimming that. Head. Gotta finish trimming that. This was like a bronze color. So we spray painted that white. That's not good lighting. Painted everything white around it. We painted this side gray to match those cabinets. Painted the handles. The handles and the hinges saved us a good hundred dollars by spray painting them that paid for your backsplash plus your paint you know yeah. so that was good it was hard it wasn't easy but i mean it wasn't hard it was just aggravating but we'd had to take them down and put new ones up anyway are you having fun 
loads. So I want to throw on this backsplash. I wonder if I could crop some wrinkles out and make it for more patients. Today is Sunday and they don't like to work on Sunday. But what does the Bible say? Our ox is in a ditch. Is our ox in a ditch? Your cabinets are in a ditch, ain't they? I'm a horrible person because I wear a church. They don't matter as a mom. You can't be like that. You can't be like that. Worry about yourself and you. That's my thing. You know, I, Lord, it's a full time job. Worry about me and my kids. I ain't got time to worry about nobody else and if they're going to church or not. This stuff will take wrinkles off your forehead. You think it would? You just said you hurt yourself, so stop. Dad, you don't need to pull either. Sharpest things in the world. Would one of these cut your fingers off, Dad? What? This clipper thing. Right here, Oh Lord, they're gonna melt. We are. It's raining. They're gonna melt. Go on, princesses. No, it ain't gonna melt. No, that's good. That's good. Yeah. See how easy yeah. that breaks? I mean, you just make a line with a box cutter and then you just, it snaps. The end. Woo! Yeah. The end. Don't own that. Okay, there's no brake cleaner right there. I need that. That's brake cleaner? Carburetor cleaner or something? Brake cleaner. What does she do with her life? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My mom got this peel and stick flooring at Home Depot. All we did was we cut it to fit. Most pieces fit already. The top piece I had to cut right out halfway off just to get that to fit. But you just peel the back off of it and it'll stick right up there. I did secure that just with a little adhesive on each corner. Stuck that on there. But that looked so good. And I think that color gray just really blended so well. Let me enter. Ooh, my battery shot. Let me introduce you to our supervisor. Me. <laughs> me. Well, I'm playing in the background. Don't Thank drop you. it. <laughs> the first time I vlogged Kaylin, she laughed. <laughs> I was like, it is a little awkward the first time, Kaylin. But you'll no, to because listen. She would go and bust out laughing. And look at it and bust out laughing. I was like, <laughs> throw us away. Throw us away. Yeah. Yeah. I ain't got no yes. makeup on. Scrub my wrinkles off. I used to not have a wrinkle one until I sat at the ball field with Kennedy. Oh, huh? Over mm -hmm. the years, and the sun, I'd get sunburnt. And then. You want to say hi to the camera? I want to say hi for you to move. <laughs> so, 
said, hey. Why are you give a speech? You said, you said, I want to say. I was like. Oh, God. <laughs> Townsend, remember when he said his granny got saved? And she said, I want to say something. He said, I thought she'd seen somebody that done her wrong. That didn't go. He said, I told her, I said, Granny, you got to be saved for 24 hours before you can speak in church. Uh-uh. Mom's doubting my abilities. Dad see me paint. I'm painting. Hey, don't, don't, don't spill that. Don't spill that. Don't spill that. <laughs> That's the fourth time I've touched what I painted. Remember that next time you're still on. Oh. What is she? I want to wipe it on my shirt. Oh, okay. Because yeah. it's crosses. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, let's paint his face. Yeah, paint his face. Can I give him some Please, 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 please. Come here. Hold on. I'm going to get this white off his nose so it looks a little bit better. It won't come off. <laughs> now watch her lean up against I thing. will. Are you Something white. white. <laughs> Mimi, I'm done videoing. How? Oh, I want it. You had me at a low. And here is what the kitchen looks like when we are done with it. And like I said, she spent $142 on the backsplash and the paint, polyurethane, just a couple little things she needed to go with what we had. But like I said, you don't have to put a ton of money into something to make it look so much better. Ask your parents, ask your kids, even a neighbor, if they have extra paint laying around or something they're not using, shiplap, something like that. A lot of people do have a lot of supplies like that laying around that they would just love to get out of their way. But we used a lot of things from my house, like I said, and she had some things and, you know, put a little bit of money into it. But who would have thought by looking at this kitchen afterwards, it would have only cost $142 to do this project. But it made the space look so much better. She is so happy with it. And it makes me so happy to see them happy. So it's a win-win all the way around. I was so glad to do that for them. But thank you guys so much. I hope this gave you some ideas just to get your kitchen freshened up. To make your space look new again. And it doesn't have to cost a whole lot of money to do that. So even if you have the supplies and you don't have the ability, ask somebody to help you. But I love you guys. And always remember Jesus loves you guys so much too. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Mm -hmm.